Hi everyone, uh, this is Dr. Tanveen from Violet Health Mama Bix. Uh, this is a continuation of the series we had been doing on the importance of balanced diet during pregnancy and lactation and the importance of various components of it. Uh, so the last time we had talked about the importance of iron during pregnancy and also uh, how you really need iron even after you deliver during lactation. And today we'll be talking about the sources uh, where you can get all this iron from and how you can prevent uh, yourself from uh, getting iron deficiency anemia. So just a reinforcement, uh, again, what is iron deficiency anemia? We've been uh, listening about it. We've been hearing about it from our doctors, from everyone, from all the nutrition experts again and again. So uh, during pregnancy, uh, your body's iron needs increase, uh, especially in the second trimester. In India, more than 50% of all pregnant women have anemia. So anemia is basically a lowered a hemoglobin level uh, which you can see or a lowered capacity of your blood to carry oxygen from your lungs to the rest of the body. Now how do you come to know that you have anemia? You'll have symptoms like feeling tired, weakness, headache, dizziness, shortness of breath, uh, cold or pale skin, uh, chest pain and trouble concentrating. So all of these are kind of signs that maybe your iron levels are low. And also the, the, the significant sign of it is if your hemoglobin level or your, or your HP concentration is less than 11 to 12 gram per deciliter uh, during, whenever you go for your blood tests, always ch uh, check for HB. So this all uh, comes as a diagnostic um, criteria that you are, do suffer from iron deficiency anemia. Now what do we do about it? Uh, so you can either go for an iron rich diet, make sure your um, foods uh, are very very high uh, rich in iron. Uh, now there are two types of iron rich foods classified into heme and non-heme sources. Heme sources are uh, the uh, non-veg sources which includes poultry, eggs, uh, chicken meat, um, also red meat. Uh, and then uh, non-heme sources contains green leafy vegetables, legumes, pulses, um, nuts, uh, dried fruits and nuts. So all of these are very high in iron as well. And then in addition to this, you can add vitamin C, uh, which, which include fruits like um, amla, uh, lemon, uh, amla juice or lemon juice or orange juice. Also vegetables like capsicum and tomato also have a very high rich uh, vitamin C in them. So vitamin C basically increases the absorption of all the iron that you take. Uh, now the second option is you can go for iron pills that your doctors prescribe to you, uh, which which uh, if, if they suit you well, I think you should uh, definitely go for additional supplements in addition to your diet because sometimes your diet is not entirely sufficient for your all your iron needs. Then we have some Ayurvedic preparations and some fortified foods and drinks in the market which you can go for uh, and then uh, we we have also found out that some uh, women some pregnant women uh, do not comply very well with the iron tablets so for them we have mama bix which are um, iron and folic acid uh, fortified biscuits for um, pregnant and lactating women. So three biscuits basically provide you 60 mg of elemental iron, 120 mg of vitamin C and 500 mi micrograms of uh, folic acid as well. Also it has fiber so there is no uh, complication of constipation that happens and uh, the, the taste is better so the compliance is better. So the results we see uh, in improving iron deficiency anemia are, are um, very very good in case of mama bakes so if uh, uh, in the subsequent in the following sessions we'll also talk about what exactly mama bakes are and what a pouch looks like and also if you have any questions regarding it you can drop us a question uh, in in the comment section or in our inbox and also check our website uh, thank you so much and uh, keep your iron levels up at all times